Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ace Kanti, seated inside the Kuju Sheldon Studios. This episode of Yaw of the Day is brought to you by Cowbell Cow Oh, bro. Cowbell Coffee. Mm. Cowbell Coffee. Start your day with Cowbell Coffee. They say make I tell you, then day with you. Day with you. Then day for you. So you know what? Cowbell Coffee got it always. If nobody day for you, Cowbell Coffee day for you. Now, let's go straight into the story. If you live around Sprintess, Sprintess, it's Legon, Manet, or around Palace Mall, hmm, Underbridge, that area, there has been some serious traffic over the years that way you can spend about an hour or two. Last time, a lady was complaining that she spent an hour in the traffic there. The rush hour there is so much when you close from work or you are going to work in the morning. Due to the construction of the new flyover, this is not an overpass. Overpass because we did walk on. But this is a flyover, a new interchange right in front of Palace Mall. Not the one at Atomic Junction, but the one around Sprinters. And you know what? It has been destined, or it's destined that they are going to commission that overpass, that flyover, sorry. And yesterday, the president of the land, His Excellency Nanado Dankwa Akufuado, with so much joy on his face, bro, he commissioned the flyover. Yes. No. <laughs> if governments mess up, we'll criticize them. If they do it, we'll applaud them. That's what I do. I'm not going to be blind. I'm not going to be blinded by politics. And then when I see government do something good, I've stayed in that traffic before. I've experienced how bad that road is before. So if they have done it, bro, congratulations. Now I'm waiting for the Pumbaria and TT brothers. That road for them to finish. Yesterday, the president of the land, bro, before the president gave a speech that he decommissioned the flyover, bro, watch the video. Obian to be, Obian Sebi. Oh my young bon cassette. Oh yeah. Mecca. And Junior Mie. Oh my young bon cassette. Everybody. Let's go. Oh yeah, oh yeah, me cry sorry not to know say oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, bang bang like you to cause oh yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Make rass or that or gong 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 The president of the land, bro, he was so happy. Enija Banimu, bro. Enija by his excellency mu commissioning the flyover. He was so so excited. Because Ghanaians, if one of the roads that Ghanaians have wanted to see a change, that route and then the Temamoto way. And as they do that road, it means that traffic, if you use that place, bro, the traffic he did that place, it'd be too much. But the road, of the flyover is working. This morning, fish say he used that side, Andy to say he used that side. So now you can fly over, you don't have to be in traffic for 30 minutes or one hour. No, bro. Good job by government. But something day, yesterday, they just, you see, I've always said that maintenance culture in this country is our biggest problem. Okay. Law enforcement in this country is our biggest problem because we can do something good, but how to maintain it or how to call on public for them to go by the rules, we are not going to do it. For a flyover that was commissioned in less than 12 hours, <laughs> this morning, City News was there to check, oh, um, free flow, are the cars moving freely? Everyone to be comfortable. You don't need to be in an AC. You don't need, bro. City TV was there. You see the shock of your life. Under 12 hours, people have started selling under the flyover. Hey, my nigga. People have started selling. Hawkers have started selling under the flyover. 
something where they just do. And you see, wherever you see uh, street hawkers selling, it means that that place is a traffic zone. We have traffic lights there because it's a traffic and chair, they can't buy, they can't sell, and people won't buy. This lady who is selling coconuts, I think this is the first time after I traveled to Mauritius, I come back to Ghana. This is the first time I've seen a lady selling coconuts. A lady who is selling coconuts carry the truck, go stand under the flyover, and she's selling coconuts. City TV saw this lady, questioned the lady. This is what the lady said. She says she has returned to her old spot. That's where she used to sell. So she's coming back, and she's the first person to sell under the flyover. How, bro? <laughs> Do you know the effect arrest this lady? We, we don't have, know how to get keep a lot of nice things that we do. Look at the road and imagine everyone is set. We want to turn that place into another market. We have markets. There's a supermarket inside the mall. Koji Chef Breton and the If you are coming towards the underbridge, there are some street walkers there. Why don't you go there and go and sell? Right under a flyover. That is where you want to sell. And you see, if we don't stop this lady, another person will join. You see pure water, you see farm milk, you see coconut, you see more coconut, you see plantain chips, then that place will now become a market square. When it starts, when it becomes a market square, a, a refuse dump, and, it's con and it continues. It's going to continue, 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 continue. People will start selling stand and positions there. There are some places in town that when you go where you sell, they take money before you sell there. If we don't stop the coconut seller, it is going to continue. People start drinking and they'll be leaving the, the refuse there everywhere scattered. Do you know when you drink, when you are done taking coconuts, do you know how the, the, the stress to package or dispose the, the is it the whatever the, the shell or whatever of the coconut? Sometimes they even leave it there for days. It will be smelling. Why Ghanaians, we don't know how to, we don't, we don't like good things. Either we let the law work or we do the same thing that we did at Circle. If you go to Circle, the interchange, under, they use stones, pointed stones. They are under. So you will not see people sleeping there under the Circle interchange. You won't see it. You won't see people selling under the interchange because the way that place has been uh, constructed or the way it's done, you can't even mount anything there that you are selling. Either we are doing the same thing or we are going to make the law work. When we see you there, we arrest you. Mm. This is where the AMA comes in. The municipal assemblies, this is where you come in. Let the people go. Sack every person there. Let them go to the market and sell. And those of you who drive, you also come and pack and you also want to buy coconut. Stop. You are also contributing to the problem. They are there because people are, they have ready buyers. So if they come and you are not buying, it means that what? They can't make money and then they will leave. I don't want anyone to see that that is where they, I've seen what they, that's where they were selling at first. So government has taken their place. So government to give them a new place. Coconut. Kube, 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 kube. Kube. You are not even selling PK mentors. Kube. Do we do we want another? You see, street workers they embrace traffic. Traffic say I know money. That's how come they make money. Do we want to see the rush hour there again? In as much as we want our leaders to fix themselves. The citizens also need to fix. We need to fix ourselves. Because if we don't fix ourselves, the leaders will do the work and then we'll destroy it. If you like, our leaders shouldn't put any measures in place. Give this place one week. This place will be more active than the market square. Everything you want will be sold there. And I want to see our leaders working because our the road problems that we have in this country is too much. The challenges we have on our roads in this country is too much. Or reckless driving, unnecessary parking. Use somebody can park in a highway. Somebody this oh, bro. The name is Sahada to say she was proud. 
saying that she's coming back to an old spot. She's the first ever to do it. There's a Wajini Dean. Hey! If you look at how nice, look, look, watch videos of how the place looks like. nice vicinity, a very nice environment, and you come in and then this is what you want to do. Oh! Sahada, jai, 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 jai. Sahada to, sah, Sahada to, say do. Stop. If you are planning to sell there, stop. Go somewhere else. The moment we do this, our leaders will not take us serious. They won't, tw under 12 hours, you're already marketing. <laughs> See how she's seated. Just look at the image. Look at how she's just seated. Kulem, why are you ready to sell? <laughs> the police just can't carry and go inside. And you see, when this video was posted, Ghanaians were even mad when this um, over um, flyover was commissioned. But when they have seen that it's working, see, our system is so bad, our economy is so bad that when our leaders do something good, say, Ghanaians get mad. Because Ghanaians have already been through a lot. So when they see you doing something good, they are mad. Now we saw that to do one about the gym. This is what people were saying on online when this video was posted. Hawkers are going to take over that place, make it dirty, and cause traffic again. Just mark my words. Jacob, stubborn academy. How much be your salary? <laughs> stubborn academy. I like her confidence before the cameras. Sadly, she will have to find a new location since allowing her to do her business there will only embolden others to equally set up their ways. When I say we deserve uh, the kind of leaders we have got, then what? I support beating people like this, confiscating their goods and burning them. How you go burn coconut? <laughs> Ghani and Sankasa, aside the poor and wicked leaders that we have, the citizens ourselves don't like good and beautiful things. We are part of the problem. For me, I believe that the citizens just form 10% of the problem. Our leaders form 90% or even 95% of the problem. Because if the laws are working, if our leaders go there now and they arrest this lady, you won't see anyone there. Let the laws work. If you refuse, you see, you are a leader. You have the law. We have the laws. If someone tells, there's every law, every crime that you do in this country, we have a law here. But the laws are not working. Enforcing the law is a problem. Arrest two or three people there and see if you see anyone selling. Why didn't they fix stones at that place if they wanted to prevent people from using that side? Like what they did at Circle. Very soon we'll see squatters use that place as their place of abode. And then as they keep multiplying, the security of their neighborhood becomes fragile. It's true. As a start with coconut cellar, very soon people will be sleeping there. Circle, if you look at if we did, we, you follow the story that we did here um, some months ago. Circle, because people can't sleep down there, some people climb and they have built a room. They've built an apartment inside the, uh, the flyover and they were sleeping there. This place, oh bro, 
the mad people or people who don't have the homeless people, the street children, this is where they will be sleeping if care is not taken. People will migrate from flyovers, from an overpass to flyovers because rich people use that side. I don't blame I don't blame her. I blame the useless authorities in charge of enforcing the laws that prevent people from selling on pavement and unapproved spots. Go to Ivory Coast and see the good job the authorities are doing in this regard. It means that we can do it. We just need our leaders to work. The last one here is only in Africa. It's only in Africa selling on the road is glorified and entertained. Shaking my head, we will come and blame poverty. Bro, if we blame poverty, 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 things are not going to work for us. Even the Bible said, here for, the end the end the for poor people, they will definitely exist. Doesn't mean the economy needs to try or has to, does not have to try. We need to do things right. So I hope we'll draw the attention of our leaders and then they'll go there and they'll go and uh, pay attention because the Accra Regional Minister, yes, Titus Glover, he said it, said, we are not tolerating San Niema we. And that's just how it's people are selling. My name is Ace Kanti. Let us know what you think about the average Ghanaian. Bibi Nidia Nipa. Let me know what you think about the average Ghanaian. What you think is going to happen at this place um, some few years to come. My name is Ace Kanti. This episode was brought to you by Cowbell. Cowbell. Bro. We out.